Today, I am working on a collaboration for our Ocean Week theme with Miss Marie. So those two notes that I played on the piano come from a very popular movie about a shark. And I bet your moms and dads and grandparents, they probably know those two notes. Anyone who has seen the movie or heard of the movie hears those two notes and immediately knows what movie it's from. So that's what's really cool about music. People can tell a story with music. They can talk about emotion, like that emotion makes me a little nervous that maybe something exciting or thrilling is gonna happen. And that's what music gets to do, which is so cool. So, for this Ocean Week theme, Miss Marie is going to read a story about a nice shark named Clark. Clark the Shark, which is one of my favorite books. So she's gonna read that, and I'm gonna show you some pictures of some underwater animals that uh, you would see in the ocean. And I'll talk about the names, and we'll work on spelling them. And then what was really cool is my cousin Kate gets to do a lot of cool things. She lives in Colorado, but for part of the year, she lives in Hawaii, which is by the ocean. And she does a lot of scuba diving and swimming and they do a lot of photography and videos. So she thought it would be cool if she could share some of the underwater pictures that she has taken of some really awesome ocean animals. So for the music portion of my collaboration, I am going to put together all the pictures that she's given to me. I'm gonna set it to some beautiful music so you can think about the, the tone and the emotions and the stories that we're telling while looking at the beautiful pictures. And then after that, if you wanna do a craft, I'm gonna teach you how to make a shark is really cool right and that'll be it there's also lots of other videos that I put together and Miss Patty and Mr. Vinny and Miss Kate and Miss Marie that you can also check out too I even teach you how to draw a shark in a separate video so hang tight watch the video I hope you enjoy and I'll see you soon okay Ooh, what's this guys it's a shark and this beautiful stuff is called coral. Here's a whale. And here we go, it's an octopus. This is a starfish. And this is a clownfish. And what's this? It's a turtle. Okay, now let's listen to Miss Marie. Hey friends, how are you? Guess what? We're talking about the ocean and ocean animals today. And I think I'm going to read about one specific ocean animal in particular today. Can you guess what animal I'm going to read a story about today? <gasps> Did you say shark? You're right, it's my favorite shark named Clark. So here we go, Clark the Shark, written by Bruce Hale and illustrated by Guy Francis. It's a good story, here we go. Clark the Shark. Here's the school bus. Does your school bus go underwater in the ocean? Clark's does. Wow! In the wide blue seas and all the wide blue world, the top school for fish was the Theodore Roosterfish Elementary. And of all the fish at Theodore Roosterfish, the biggest, the strongest was Clark the Shark. 
Clark loved school. And he loved his teacher, Mrs. Inky Dink. He loved to play upsy downsy and spin him a jig with his friends. Clark loved life. School's awesome, shouted Clark the shark. Less shouting, more reading, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Lunchtime is sweet, yelled Clark the shark. Want your own lunch, said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. Recess rocks, bellowed Clark the shark. You are playing rough, Clark, cried the other kids. Yes, Club Clark loved his life with all of his sharky heart. But he loved everything way too much. He was too loud, he was too wild, and he was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, oh, no one would play with Clark. No one ate lunch with him. No one sat with him at circle time. And even his best friend, Joey Mackerel, said, Cool your jets, Clark. You're making me crazy. Poor Clark. He's sad. Can you show me a sad face? <laughs> yeah, that's a good sad face. One day, Clark asked Mrs. Inky Dink, What's wrong with everybody? Mrs. Inky Dink patted his little fin. She said, Clark, sometimes you play too hard. You munch too hard and gosh, you even help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and a place for everything, said Mrs. Inky Dink. And sometimes the rule is stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing with too much zing. Sorry, Clark said, I forgot. Yikes, cried Joey Mackerel. At lunch, Clark's tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. In class, Clark tried to stay cool. But a good book got him all shook up. Now, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, this isn't the time or the place. Tell me, what's the rule? Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he cried. Then, Clark got an idea in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll remember it every single time, he thought. And the next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up and down in his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teachers are talking, don't go walking. And what do you know? It worked. Atta boy, Clark, said Mrs. 
Inky Dink. Clark smiled. Lessons are fun. At lunch, <gasps> everything smelled so yummy. And when Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, only munch your own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said all of his friends. And Clark said, lunch is fun. And at playtime, Clark told himself, easy does it. That's the way. Then my friends will let me play. And playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. But then a shadow fell across the playground. Uh-oh. A ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. What animal is that, friends? What could it be? Hey, it's a new kid and he looks scary, cried Joey Mackerel. Swim for your life. The squid squashed the slime and it sucked snapped off the swings. Whoops, my bad, said the new kid. Wait, said Clark, he just wants to play. Let's find a way. And so Clark swam at the new kid with all his might. Clark played harder than he had ever before. Upsy downsy, spin him a jig, and even he made up a new game called Tail Wumpus Rumpus. Wow, Whew. that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly. And the new kid settled down. If you want to come to school, you got to play it cool, said Clark. That's right, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink. And thanks for taking care of our new student, Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark, everyone cheered. Oh, that was super nice of Clark. That night, Clark got home and his mother asked, What did you learn in school today, dear? There's a time and a place for everything, Clark said. Sometimes you gotta stay cool. But sometimes, oh, sometimes a shark's got to do what a shark's got to do. And when we're done with the book, my friends, we say the and hey, I hope you had a great time reading about a, can you say it? A shark, Clark the shark today. My friends, I hope you have a lovely week. I miss you and I will see you later. Now get ready for my cousin Kate's underwater adventures. Take a look to see if you can notice any of the ocean animals.
take a look. This is my cousin Kate swimming with a whale shark. Pretty cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're ready, I'm going to teach you how to make a shark. Okay friends, here's our shark craft. What you're gonna need is some blue paper. I have a dark blue paper, a black sheet of paper, a light blue sheet of paper. I am using some white paper, a small piece of white paper folded up, a black colored pencil, a regular pencil, a glue stick, some scissors, and I have some watercolor there, some black watercolor, or you could use a gray marker or a gray crayon. All right, so because I don't have white paper, I am going to use some black watercolor and I'm going to lightly paint my white sheet of paper gray. I'm gonna need that for my shark's body. And because I don't have gray paper, I'm going to use this. You can also color white paper, like I said, with a gray marker or a gray crayon or colored pencil. Any of those are perfectly fine to use to shade the color gray. Or you might be lucky and you might actually have gray paper with you. So the next thing is I am going to let the watercolor dry and I'm going to make the mouth. So I am going to draw a semicircle and then I'm going to draw a flat line and I'm going to cut that out. So after I have cut out the mouth, I am going to make some teeth. So I folded my paper and I'm going to make little triangles on the edge and see because I folded it, I'm going to have double the teeth when I cut them out. So I'm going to use those for the teeth and then if you cut along the line, you actually make even, even more. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some waves. We're going to draw the waves at the bottom of the light blue paper and we are going to cut them out. So after we finish cutting out our waves and our water, we are going to glue it down to the bottom of the paper. Just there. But you're gonna hold on to it first before you glue it down and we're going to take that gray paper. We're gonna make a triangle almost for our shark's body. So go ahead and draw that and we're gonna cut that out. Now it's up to you, I'm gonna erase my lines that are showing on the shark's body before I glue it down. And go ahead, now you can glue on your waves. and then put some glue on the back of our shark's body. And we're just gonna tuck it underneath the wave. So smooth that down and we're gonna take the shark's mouth, that circle, we're gonna put some glue on the back of it and we're going to position it right at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make little marks on the tops and the bottom of the mouth and then I'm gonna go ahead and place my white triangles for the teeth all around the shark's mouth. So 
next we are going to glue on the eyes. And this is where I'm gonna grab that black colored pencil and I'm gonna make a smaller black circle inside those white eyes. Just like that. And there you have it. Great job, you made a shark. Well, I hope you had fun and don't forget to check out the other videos that the other teachers have created for you. And there are lots of things that you could do at home or things that you could watch that have to do with the ocean, like Moana or Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, Little Mermaid. There's lots of different movies out there and television shows that you can watch to see some more underwater action. I hope you guys had a great time and you had fun and I will see you soon.